Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. This is part five of sets, and we're going to be doing problems that involve more than one step. And so on this video, we're going to take this universal set, the numbers from one to nine, these three subsets of the universal set, and we're going to do these four problems. So here's the first problem. A intersect C, take away B, or the difference of these two. So we have to first do A intersect C. All right, now, you should be able to look at A and C and figure that out on your own, but if you want, you could actually write it out like this, one, four, seven, eight. In other words, if you feel like it, you could write out the set A, write out the set C, and then write out the set B. This is optional. All right, so the first thing is we have to do it's in parentheses first. We need to take this intersection, and do they have any elements in common? Yes, the number seven. So the intersection of these two sub sets is seven. So now we're doing the set seven, take away four, five, seven. And remember what this means. This isn't a regular subtraction sign. This is set subtraction or difference. And if there's any element over on the right, it gets removed from what's over here. So this is equal, this is equal, and so, hmm, I have to take the seven out, so my final answer is the null set. You could write it either like this or like that. All right, let's go to the second one. Same universal set, same sets A, B, and C. So we want to do A intersect B complement. So what's A? I'm just going to write it down here. Sometimes it's easier instead of your eyes going up to the top. Now what's B complement? Well, if B is four, five, and seven, I want everything in the universe except four, five, and seven. So that gives me one, two, three, six, eight, and nine. Now together you should get all nine elements, and this makes sense. We've got six elements plus these three make up that universal set from one to nine. All right, so now we have these two sets and we want their intersection. We want to see if they have anything in common, all right? They both have a one in common, uh, no four in common, no seven in common, and they have an eight in common. So that's the answer. All right, let's try the third one. All right, why don't you try this one on your own first by putting the video on pause. The hint is make sure you do what's in parentheses first. Okay, so A would be this set one, four, seven, eight. And now what is B union C? All right, that's a set. I've got to put all the elements in B and C in here. So I've got four, five, seven, two, seven, and nine. So basically, I the smallest number I see is a two. The next smallest number I see here is a four. I'm just going to put them in order. You don't have to. The next smallest number I put is a five. They both have a seven, but remember, we don't write it twice. We just put it once and a nine. So that is B union C. Now, I could have written that out, B union C, but they were right next to each other up here anyway, so I didn't have much trouble figuring out their union. Now I want to take away from the set one, four, seven, eight, anything that's in B union C. All right, so I don't have to take the one out because it's not over here. The four I have to take out because it's over here, right? And the seven I have to take out because I see it over here, and the eight I do not. So what's left in A is one and eight. So that's our answer. Last one, A union, B intersect C. All right, again, try this on your own by putting the video on pause and trying it. And keep in mind, you always want to do order of operations, what's in parentheses first. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and write down what 
I'm just going to go ahead and write the uh, what a actually is. 1, 4, 7, and 8. And b intersect c. All right, I can easily see what that's going to be. I look at both b and c and I see if they have any elements in common. They don't both have a 4 or a 5, but they do have a 7 in common. So, 7. And now I want to union these two sets. Well, 7's already in here, isn't it? So basically, I just end up with 1, 4, 7, 8, which happens to be the same thing as A, but that just sort of turned out that way. It's not like you can expect that it'll just be the first set only. So the key to doing these problems is to just still do the order of operation carefully. And um, if you need to, write out the actual you know, elements of each set as you're going through and just be careful and you should have no trouble doing the more complicated problems like this. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.